so we will be discussing the last problem of today's weekly lift code contest we are given a 2d integer array tires where ith element will contain fi comma ri which means that ith tire can finish the xth lap in this seconds these many seconds so for example uh, if fi is 3 and ri is 2 it means ith tire can finish first lap uh, in 3 seconds second lap in 3 into 2 6 seconds and third lap in 12 seconds so you can see these sequence is increasing now there is second condition as well wherein we can change our tire in between the laps so let's say we have completed one lap then we can change our current tire to any tire that we have but that will require change time number of change time time to change the tire itself so considering all this what we need to do is to return the minimum number of time required to finish the race so basically we have to complete total num laps number of laps to finish the race let's understand with an example so this is uh, th we have two tires uh, first with have firi 23 second with have firi 34 and uh, time required to change the tire is 5 seconds or 5 unit of time and uh, uh, we have to complete total 4 laps to complete the race so we will start with tire 0 and you, with this formula you can see uh, tire 0 will require 2 seconds to complete the first lap similarly uh, second, 6 seconds to complete the second lap and in third time we decide to change to a new tire uh, then changing the new tire requires 5 seconds of change time so we have to wait for 5 seconds and then we change our tire to first tire itself we just replace our current tire with a new type of first tire and then we will require another 2 seconds to complete this third lap and finally with the current tire itself basically the first tire we will be continuing with our second lap which will require 6 seconds so total we require 2 seconds, 6 seconds then 5 seconds to change then two, another 2 seconds to complete the third lap and then 6 seconds to complete the fourth lap so in total we we will be required 21 seconds uh, to complete the race basically complete all the 4 laps if we have these 2 number of tires so what we need to do is just to find this minimum time in which the entire race can be completed the very brute force solution would be to try every possible combination so basically let's say we have uh, to make 4 laps and we have 3 we have 3 tires so uh, so we, maybe we can try like okay we will complete first lap with first tire second lap with second tire third lap again with first tire maybe fourth lap with third tire and so on so similarly we will try this combination as well and so on and so forth so clearly this would not work because the number of tires we have is 10 to the power 5 and this solution would be uh, exponential so it, it would not work in this scenario so one important thing to note about this solution uh, this question would be how many consecutive um, laps can be made with a single tire or maybe without changing a tire so to answer this let's uh, uh, see what happens when we uh, choose a tire though so the first when we choose a tire with uh, fi comma ri value the first lap would be completed in fi seconds and then second lap in fi into ri seconds 
and third lap in f i into r i square seconds uh, and so on and so, on, so forth so let's take the minimum value of f i which is 1 and let's take minimum value of r i which is 2 so we can uh, now try to find how the sequence will be when we do laps so first lap will be completed in one second then second lap will be completed in two seconds then four then eight so basically we'll, we are multiplying two we're multiplying ri uh, on every lap so then 16 and so on and so forth so you can see this thing is exponential and because ri is not equals to one this will always be exponential so uh now let's say you uh, we we have made some x number of laps uh, with the same tire now does it make sense to continue with the same tire if x is greater than change time itself in this case so let's say if x is greater than change time and we have a tire of this uh, this kind then we can what we can do instead of uh, uh, taking the exit lap by and paying this x cost we can do uh, we can change the tire with and pay this change time cost and then we can complete one lap in one unit of time so this is almost less than or equals to x right like always be less than or equals to x so what we are saying is if this is the case in this kind of scenario it is never optimal to uh, like it is always as optimal to change the tire as to not change the tire so with changing the tire we will have other advantages like the next consecutive laps will be of lower cost so we will always change the tire in such kind of scenarios so what is the total number of uh, laps that we can make without changing the tire so ri is 2 so let's say like 2 to the power 10 is 1024 and similarly 2 to the power 20 is greater than 10 to the power 6 and uh, we can see our uh, change time can be at max 10 to the power 5 so we can say that uh, at worst case a tire will be used less than 20 times consecutively right so now this is the very important part of this uh, question uh, after this observation the problem is now reduced so let's say you like dp of i denotes the time to take i laps or basically time to complete i laps now because we are saying that we can't continue with the same tire for more than 20 times it means uh, in between ith lap in between i minus 20th lap and ith lap we would have changed the tire so by seeing this what we can do is basically uh, to calculate any dp of i we can say let's say we have already calculated all all the dp is less than i so we have dp 1 2 and so on up to dp of i minus 1 so when we have this and we are calculating dp of i what we can say is simply uh, dp of i would be any way like well, let's say we change uh, we are saying that we can like we should have changed this in between this so it can be minimum of dp of i minus 20 plus change time 
plus dp of 20 similarly dp of i minus 19 uh, sorry dp of uh, i minus 20 and then 20 yeah so dp of i minus 19 plus change time dp of 19 and so on and so forth the reason being what we are saying is uh, if we have changed the tire after i minus 20th lap so basically we are iterating over all the scenarios so let's say we change the tire at i minus 20th lap so in this we have like dp of i minus 20 time to complete i minus 20 laps and then we change the tire and then what we are saying that uh, because we have changed the tire and we are free to choose any tire uh, from now it is this situation is now similar to the case where we have only 20 laps to be completed so just to reiterate what we have done is basically reduce the problem size uh, into smaller problem with same constant so basically what we have what we are saying is if we would have changed uh, the tire at i minus 20 then we would have paid this much cost and because we have changed the tire it is up to us now that we what tire we will begin with so this situation is now similar to the situation that we have started with uh, where we have like i laps to be completed now here we have 20 laps to be completed so hope this point is now clear so let's implement it i equals to tires dot size and uh, let's take some constants So we will have dp of num labs plus one. Now for int uh, initially we'll initialize everything to infinity uh, and dp of zero is zero. Basically we don't require any time to complete zero labs and then we will start with uh, two or maybe one and up to num labs now what we are saying is we have changed at let's say we have changed at this j and we will go until we have bandwidth or we have already consumed 20 tires like we are saying that uh, either change that is 0 or we have consumed all the 20 uh, consecutive we have used the tire for 20 consecutive times change that plus plus or minus yeah the minus minus now dp of j equals to min of dp of j comma dp of change that we have changed at this tire we will pay the change time and what is the number of tires that we have left with j minus change that uh, i think plus one will also be there so basically let's look at an example so uh, let's say j is two and uh, so what we are saying that change at is two it means we have changed at two so we have uh, covered change at minus 
we have covered one tire then we have paid one thing and then we are saying that okay now I have to cover this much so after this just return DP of num labs now here we haven't considered uh, tires dimensions so let's so basically what what is left is basically to calculate the base cases wherein uh, a single tire can be uh, iterated over multiple times so let's say tire is one tire less than n tire plus plus fi of this tire is tires of tire minus one because tire is zero indexed and ri is tires of tire minus one of one and what we are saying if we continue with this tire uh, for this max consecutive number of times right so int lap equals to one lap less than max consecutives and lab plus plus current tire cost so what will be the current tire cost so for let's initialize it with fi and let's start the loop with 2 and current lap time is fi so as we uh, start we will multiply we'll keep on multiplying current lap time with ri and current time current tire cost will also be incremented with current lap time now one thing to note here is dp uh, is already initialized with infinity so it doesn't make sense to go above infinity so if current tire cost is greater than infinity uh, then let's break so hope it's clear let's try to run it oh okay okay yeah so basically if we are calculating dp of lab and we are uh, going up to max consecutive but num labs can be less than that so lab less than equals to num labs it's 21 let's submit it accepted 